Hello everyone, this is Trubo. Hope you are doing very well. Have you ever wondered how Netflix works? Maybe uh, you have uh, sometimes wanted to build something like Netflix where you can um, place all your movies and TV shows and access it from any device uh, just like Netflix. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can build your own media server just like Netflix. Uh, using a open source software uh, called Jellyfin. Uh, there are many other softwares, uh, for example, MB, Plex, but those are uh, paid service and I don't think uh, they offer um, something better than Jellyfin. So I prefer Jellyfin and this is free. So that's a good point of Jellyfin. So we'll be using Jellyfin to build the media server. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So now we are into our PC and we will now set up the Jellyfin server and then uh, after that we will try out some remote device to test the Jellyfin server and um, check and if the Jellyfin server works or not. So let's start. So uh, right now I am using a Mac but uh, as most of you are Windows users so I will set up the Jellyfin server in a windows machine and so uh, first of all i will go to my remote windows machine which is set up in my in the other room so now we are in our uh, windows machine and we'll now go to a web browser and go to jellyfin.org after that uh, we can see here is a button called download now so we will hit here and then we will uh, find windows button so we will uh, click on windows and then after that there is a downloads button we will click there so here uh, we can see there is a file called windows uh, x64.exe so this is the executable file so we will download this one we will click here and then let's download so yeah our file is downloaded so let's open this uh, it will ask for administrative access so let's grant it click on next agree so here we will go for the basic install because uh, Currently, we are not the advanced user, so let's go for basic install. Click on next, click on next, next, and install. So it will take some time depending on your machine status. If you are using uh, SSD, then it will be faster in installing. So let's wait. Okay, so our installation is complete. Let's close it and then close the browser also. So if you go to the uh, taskbar here, if you click on here, uh, there isn't anything called the Jellyfin. So let's uh, start the service by going to start, then search for Jellyfin. Okay, uh, the uh, software is already here jellyfin tree app let's click on this so now as you can see there is a button called jellyfin the uh, sorry an app icon called jellyfin so we will right click on this sorry right click on this and open jellyfin so as soon as we open the jellyfin we will see welcome to jellyfin and then uh, preferred language so english is okay with us so let's click next now uh, we will give some kind of username so let's uh, give our username and password we are giving a simple password which is abcd let's move, uh, click on next okay now uh, it is asking us to select our media library so uh, we will create a media library for movies right now so let's uh, click on movies and then the folders uh, we want to add here let's click on plus and 
let's see where I have the movies uh, most probably I have the movies in D folder here yeah, in the shareable folders and movies okay let's click on uh, ok and then click on ok again all right then uh, I, uh, let's say I want to add a TV show library so let's click on shows folders as folder I will go to G then server then then series okay let's click on okay now I want to create another library which is music library so let's click folders G server Rubo music okay and okay and that's it I don't want anything else uh, other than this so let's click on next and the language country you don't have to uh, think about all this this should be in default settings then click on next now allow remote connections to this server if you don't uh, allow then no one can access to this server so we will allow so we will check here and then enable automatic port mapping so if we enable automatic port mapping it will uh, create a port forwarding in our router uh, using UPnP uh, and um, other uh, some uh, people from remote uh, remote networks will be able to access our server so we will click uh, here because we want that then let's click next and we are done let's finish now we will have to uh, log in here we have already saved our password so let's sign in all right so as we can see our server is almost done but um, you might see that many of our files are not already here because uh, it is still scanning our media library as soon as the media library scan is completed it will be here in our server so now uh, we can uh, watch our movies directly from this PC but that's not our purpose we want to watch the movies from any remote device which is not in this uh, which is not from this PC so uh, let's move on to our another device or we can um, use our Mac to login to this server so let's go to safari from here new window now let's go to our server which is uh, oh one thing uh, if you want to access the server you must know the IP address of your PC so we will now go to the command prompt for Windows and uh, it will be terminal for Mac or Linux so let's go to command prompt and type IP config and press enter and we will see that the Ethernet adapter Ethernet and there is another one which is wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi so if you your laptop is connected laptop or PC is connected through the uh, Wi-Fi uh, device wi or Wi-Fi dongle or Wi-Fi network wireless network then the IP address will be stated here and if the Ethernet is connected to the PC then the IP address will be here right here IPv4 address so our PC is connected using a LAN cable or Ethernet cable that's why the IP address is right here which is 192.168.0.167 so now let's move on to our browser from the another device 168.0.167 and the default port number of this media server or the jellyfin is 8096 you can change the port number in the settings uh, of the jellyfin but 
you can use the default port which is 8096 so let's try out 8096 and let's hit enter and yeah as you can see it is already here and we will log into the server let's sign in yeah we are into our server and let's uh, not save the password right now okay so we are into our server and we will be able to watch some movies or TV show here let's watch Peaky Blinders which I kept in my server so let's play and yes we are now able to watch our movies from remote device uh, using Jellyfin server this is uh, almost like Netflix or some other kind of streaming service uh, if you compare to because if you just keep the movies in the server or just keep the movies in your hard disk and connect them to your uh, server then you can see all the descriptions of the movie or the series is automatically uh, taken from the internet and and the UI is updated like that there is another benefit of this kind of streaming server which is whenever uh, you play some kind of video in your device it needs to process the uh, format for example if you are playing for example uh, HVC or H.264 uh, format movies or videos then uh, the device might not support that codec so it needs to uh, encode the file uh, to its uh, ability of playing the video or the movies uh, which needs a lot of processing power and your device charge or power needs to be used for this kind of uh, processing so whenever you are um, trying to stream some kind of movies or videos using this kind of streaming service uh, then all the processing are uh, done in the remote server where you have already set up the device on the server so if i am uh, playing the picky blinders here and the video codec of this series is not supported in my remote device or the device I am trying to watch then the processing will be happened in the uh, remote device where I have uh, set up the Jellyfin server so my device for example my phone or my laptop won't need to process anything there so the device won't uh, get that much heat up or it won't lose that much charge compared to uh, if you are uh, streaming the movie directly from the phone or the laptop so that's a great plus point for this kind of streaming service and uh, there is also an app called jellyfin in the play store and the app store so you will be able to watch your contents from directly your for uh, android phone and iphone and also um, there is an uh, app in the android tv store or play store for android tv so you can watch uh, there also although right now you will be only able to watch the movies or tv shows from your own home network uh, you won't be able to watch them from outside the network so if you want to uh, watch them outside the network you will be needed to port forward in your uh, router and then uh, there is some extra hassle so uh, if i try to cover them in this video it will be lengthy so i will cover them in another video comment down below if you want to watch that kind of video so if you want i will make the video regarding the remote access of the jellyfin server so that's it for this video hope you try this at your home and create your own server and if it works let me know in the comment down below if it doesn't work also let me know I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.